lost the canvas. <laughs> Artwork. This is going to be a lot of fun. Air expressionism is, is what we're trying to sort of go for here, yeah. I feel. So we need to incorporate what we're doing. So if we can blast over something and spray a print with paint, then yeah. that's sort of, that's the whole expressionism kind of idea. In order to succeed with the artwork challenge, uh, one of the first things is actually being able to jump off of a mountain top in a wingsuit, uh, carrying paint in one of our hands. They need to be so current and so skilled in their flying that being just meters above the ground is something they're comfortable about and make them able to do something more. Very, very few people in the world can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah she's here. Awesome. Where is she? Drum roll. Hello. 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 <laughs> How you doing? We've been expecting you. We decided to use Eleanor to do the paintings because she's local to Chamonix and her artwork is just amazing as well. Eleanor is awesome. When she came over this evening, I was a little bit skeptical to whether she'd be interested in being involved in this whole project. But seeing her face glow up and her eyes sort of go into depth with everything, like, she's fully on board. We've got some super colourful paint with us. We've got a canvas. We're going to cut some laps through the garden, blast the paint over the top of it. We'll try out a few different angles, a few different hole sizes for the bottles themselves, and come up with a bit of a theory on how we want to run it when we actually fly our wingsuits down the mountain and start blasting the artwork. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> hey. oh my god. Are you serious? Oh my god! <laughs> you met. Oh. No, like good? seriously, they look amazing. <laughs> I'm like, I am literally lost for words. Really? I, I am lost for Aww, words. So it's so good. Like, it, honestly, like, I'm not making this up right now. It is so good. <laughs> in the morning, I had two thoughts in my head. Number one was, this is very surreal that the guys are going to paint the painting in free fall. Number two was, I need to make sure that I'm not flying behind them with the red cam. Because when they are just dropping all this paint, I might just get the whole thing in my face on the lens and you know, all over the camera. We have Sam coming first. Sam is about to step over the railing. Sam is coming first with Espen. Have a good one, buddy. Have a good one, buddy. Alright, rock and roll time. Are you ready, Aspen? I'm ready. Okay, in. Three, two, one. After 10 meters of a big slab, you have to jump over. After just 170 meters, there is a couloir. If you haven't flown yet, you hit that couloir. In flight, I was noticing that something wasn't right. It was wobbly, and it was a bit slow, and it didn't have the glide ratio. I mean, it didn't get as far as it normally do. Because we were holding the paint in our left hand, we didn't actually have full control over the wingsuit itself. So actually, on the transportation, it was really, really difficult to be able to maintain a very high glide ratio to be able to get to where we needed to get to, to drop the paint off. Oh, that was really difficult. Sam had to bail out. I repeat, Sam missed. Okay, thank you for the info. Uh, this is Nate, the refuge paint team. Uh, I am ready. Oh, I'm thinking we'll slide right. like that. And three, one, see ya. How's he gonna get all the way around here over that way? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We lost the guy. 
Do you think you painted anything? I have no idea. I've got paint on my wingsuit, I've got paint on my hands. I did fly across where I felt was possibility of getting paint on them. Yeah. It, was, it was hard work, that was really hard work. Immediately after we landed, Nate and me packed straight up. We got on the gondola and we wanted to get to the top of the mountain in order to try and make this happen again. Um, and as soon as we got up there, the weather just socked in and it became really, really bad. Base jumping is a very, very sensitive weather dependent sport and it's sort of what we have to take along with that is that sometimes you can jump and sometimes you can't jump. But it is frustrating because at that point we really, really need to get this stunt done and not being able to have the opportunity to do it again on that day made things really hard. <laughs> 